Hey, it's Mike, Blackstone Valley Piano here. Um, keyboard came in for new key buttons. Uh, this keyboard came from a technician who does his own buttons. So we really need to um, do a good job because he's going to look at it uh, with a fine tooth comb. So, what are buttons? Where are the buttons? And why would we want to replace them? So buttons basically are a piece of wood that goes roughly in the middle of the key that has a mortise in it. A mortise is basically a square hole and that mortise contains bushing cloth on either side and there's a pin that goes through the middle of the key and the front of the key. So those bushings just act sort of like guides and kind of like shock absorbers. They keep the key vertical and they keep it moving quietly. So when those keys um, get sloppy, it's basically because of the bushings wearing out. Now, when the bushings wear out, you can simply just change the bushing cloth. But what happens is, over time, if the bushings aren't removed properly, or if the right glue isn't used, um, some wood can get taken out of the mortise. So when you put the cloth back in, it'll still be sloppy, or it'll be inconsistent from key to key because some of the mortises will be wider than others. So you really want the, the feel of the keys to be consistent from key to key. So that would be a reason to replace the mortises. Um, now, part of evaluating a keyboard for new buttons is to really look at what you have. Okay, so when I got this keyboard in, I took a look at it and basically, uh, you know, it looked like a straightforward job. But, if you notice, um, I put a straight rail here, and then I'm looking at the buttons. Now the keys are angled a little bit to the left, but if you look, so are the mortises. The mortises are angled to the left about three degrees in the base section. If you look at them in the treble section, they're angled to the right about three degrees. So basically we want to um, duplicate that because I don't want to introduce a variable into this client's piano because if they were angled from a factory, it costs more money and time to do this. So they were angled for a reason, which means these angles were designed into how the action performs. And I don't want to change that. The middle of the keyboard, the buttons, and the mortises are perpendicular to the travel of the key. Okay? So basically, this is sort of a um, supplier bought button. It's smaller, and it doesn't have the angles. So I don't want to use this because, again, I don't want to change the angles, I don't want to introduce a variable. If there's angles there, I want to replace it. So we make our own buttons on a CNC machine and I have programmed it to angle just the mortises three degrees. The same as here. Okay, so we, we essentially copied what was here and just made it. It's not really that hard to do. The middle section, the buttons and the mortises are perpendicular, so those are just straightforward and then the treble section, we did the same as in the bass section. We angled the mortises three degrees. All right. Why does that matter that the button would be shorter? We talked about the angles. Let's talk about them being shorter. Basically, I have an action model here with a key. And this represents how a piano plays. You push down on the front of the key. The back of the key goes up goes through what's called the action here and then the hammer goes up and this piece of metal represents the string. So see what's going on here? We're pushing down on the front goes through this whole series of events and that's what plays the piano. Okay, This is the string so that would make, make the sound. So basically you push down on the front of the key so you're applying pressure here and you're asking the key to lift something in the back. So what happens is you're pushing down here 
you're lifting up here, so what it does is it causes the key to flex a little bit. So if I put this shorter button on, what I'm doing is weakening the key because again, that key's gonna flex a little bit in the middle. Here's a cutaway view of a key, okay? This is a key sideways, and there's the button on top. I cut into the key to show that there's a big area of the key below the button that is machined out to be um, clearance for the pin when the key is pressed. See that? See how the key kind of moves forwards and backwards in the mortise a little bit? So that's a very weak portion of the key. So the last thing I want to do is put a smaller button on lengthwise because what the button does is it covers that weak area. So if we shorten this, by the way, this is 20% shorter than what's on here. If we shorten that, the key will become more flexible and can actually break, especially in the areas where the keys are angled. It actually would be better. This is a big set of buttons we've made for someone else. Um, the longer the button, the better, because it distributes that load, so to speak, when you push down here and it lifts up there, you're kind of putting the key under a load. It'll distribute that load or that pressure over a greater area and the key won't flex as much. Because bas basically when you have a flexible key, um, it'll weaken the key, the key will flex, and then what happens is you lose power, touch, tone, presence. You lose all those elements in the piano, so you don't really want that. So we've made the buttons full size with the proper angles, okay? So that will distribute the um, pressure over the, that area, which they did originally here. Um, this is a concert grand key, and as you can see, not only do they have, you know, a full-size button, but they actually have a long reinforcing plate below the button and a hardwood shoe on the bottom of the key. So this is a very rigid key, very well built. We don't want to compromise the key in any situation. So basically, a proper evaluation of the keyboard determined that the angles of the mortises are to the left in the base section, straight in the middle, and to the right in the treble. So we've duplicated that. Again, we don't want to add a variable into the action. It was designed into the action. It's not very hard to put the same thing on. Kept the same length, so weakening the key is not going to be a problem. Now we can change these buttons out.